Main article. Mandalorian Cataclysm. Once upon a time, these plains were covered with grass. But I never saw it. This destruction happened before I was born. Sabine Wren despite the unity that House Vishla had brought to Mandalore, such was the warrior temperament of the Mandalorians that it did not last. Constant warfare and relentless campaigns of conquest ravaged Mandalore. Warlords from various clans emerged to fight the Jedi, but also to fight among themselves. The last great struggle between the Mandalorian warlords and the Jedi occurred on Mandalore itself, and caused a cataclysmic event that devastated the planet, scorching much of its surface into a lifeless, white desert. This event ended the war between the Mandalorians and the Jedi, as well as the Mandalorians' dreams of expansion. As a result of their homeworld's devastation, a major focus on reconstruction occupied the warriors for a time. The uninhabitable conditions of Mandalore's surface forced them to adapt, just as they had adapted to the Jedi's use of the Force. Instead of abandoning Mandalore, they constructed sealed dome cities, such as the capital city of Sundari. Other Mandalorian clans chose to settle on worlds of the Mandalore sector, such as Clan Wren on the snow planet of Cronest, while the Mandalorian protectors established a base on the third moon of Concord Dawn. As the victorious Jedi helped establish the new Galactic Republic as the dominant galactic government, the Mandalorians remained isolated in their sector. Mandalorians' warrior ways and desire for conquest remained alive, eventually leading to civil war.